Hey everybody, it's Cindy at Blue Star Antiques. And today I'm starting a project uh, and I wanted to give you the full tutorial because I'm going to take this old beat up little mini refrigerator and I'm gonna paint it and give it new life. And it is going to be adorable for some kid going off to college to put in their dorm room. So it is simple to do, three steps. And we're gonna do the first two right now. So uh, let's get to work. We are gonna start off like every project and we're gonna clean um, the surface with TSP. So there's no telling, even though I wiped it down, it's probably filthy. So step one is always clean. So we are going to clean, uh, here's what you need, some kind of paper towels, shop towels, whatever. Um, I like to use one of these scrubbies because it kind of loosens any stubborn dirt. And this is Fusion's TSP mixed with water. So the bottle of TSP that we sell is a concentrate. And two capfuls go in this bottle filled up with water um, to clean with. So all I'm gonna do, spray it down. Scrub it up. And wipe it down. And that's gonna get all of the dirt. Um, the TSP is a degreaser. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting all the fingerprint oils I'm gonna do right here around the handle really well because that would have had a lot of fingerprint oils in use right there. Okay. Clean the top. Pretty simple. Put it down. And one more side. Okay, that's it. That's all it takes to clean is a little spray with TSP, some scrubbing, wipe it down. So this piece is now prepped and ready for the next step. The front door here is textured. Um, it's, it's just got a, you know, it's a plastic or something, but it's textured and it would probably do fine with paint but the top and sides are slick. They're just metal with that whatever enamel, whatever coating on it, and it's slick. So to ensure that the paint is going to stick, I'm gonna use Ultra Grip. So this is it, Ultra Grip. Um, it is probably the most overused um, and abused product in the Fusion line because it really is only needed for things like this. You only need it if you cannot scuff sand. So obviously, I cannot scuff sand this metal box. Uh, so I'm gonna use Ultra Grip. If you've got shiny wood, well, you can sand wood. You don't have to take the finish off, but you can scuff sand. So you don't need Ultra Grip for that. I like to use a car wash sponge, and I buy, you know, they're big, and I just cut them up into quarters. So I like to use a car wash sponge and I am just going to squirt some on there like this. It is white and it dries clear. And I'm just gonna wipe it on. Just 
like that. It's pretty simple. Um, you don't want to use a brush um, because this will hold texture and it will show brush strokes. So you don't want to use a brush. So I just squirt some on the sponge. And wipe it on pretty quickly. So go over and do the other side. And that's it. So that's the first two steps, clean and ultra grip. Um, I probably don't need to do the front of this because it's got a texture. You know what? I've got it out, might as well, it's not gonna hurt. go okay so that's the first two steps clean ultra grip now I'm gonna let this dry for about 18 hours and 12 hours something like that tomorrow tomorrow it'll be ready to paint and so I will jump back in tomorrow for step three which is paint I'll see you then Okay, hey, it's Cindy, and I'm back, um, and I'm going to do our third step on this little refrigerator that I've had for quite a while, but I'm going to paint it up and give it a new life. And I've decided that I'm going to paint it in our new color, um, which is, this is it, um, it's Divine Lavender. Um, three of our local schools have purple in their school color and uh, lavender is so hot right now I just thought that might be a good color to paint my little refrigerator so I want you to see I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can do this piece with a tester I think I can but I'm just curious so we're gonna try it this is how much paint came out of my tester so it's quite a bit of paint and I do think that I um, will be able to paint this piece um, with just a tester of lavender and I'm going to show you I'm going to use our inexpensive little chip brush uh, this is not like the chip brushes that you buy at the hardware store those are a synthetic bristle and those uh, bristles fall out like crazy I just use those for stain or something this one is um, this one is a synthetic bristle did I say the store ones are the store ones are a natural bristle these are synthetic and these are a good little brush so i'm gonna i'm gonna use this little brush this morning and i'm going to paint my piece in lavender so i'm going to move the camera over here on the side i'm going to start on the side so you can see there we go and you can see what great coverage the lavender has it almost covers in one coat. And again, I always find the best results if I do long brush strokes as, a, as opposed to short ones. not getting much paint on my brush either okay I think I'm going to come back and wash this paint off of the I didn't think about taping it off off of the gasket. I think 
I may leave that white, maybe. Paint this a hinge. And the piece, um, the ultra grip, I can feel the texture. So that worked well. And as you can see, my paint is not beating up. So, um, so the ultra grip is doing its job. The paint is sticking well. Okay, let's move around here to the front. This is going to be pretty. How many of you are lavender people? Are you a purple girl? So. And I for sure am going to be able to do the whole fridge in one tester. because the paint has such great coverage. So, this is going to be a quick and easy project. I think I'm going to leave the handle white. I was thinking about that last night. Leave the handle white. So. What do you think? It's looking great, isn't it? I love this color. And sometimes it takes a steady hand. I don't typically take things off that I can manage with my paintbrush, but if you don't have a real steady hand, and I say that and then I just got paint all over the handle, I'm gonna have to wash that off. Okay, well, <clears throat> let's come around to this side. Yes, you can do that, okay. And see how much paint I still have? So, for sure I'm gonna be able to get this whole thing done with one tester. I think that some girl is going to love this. And it will look great in a dorm room. All we have left is the top. Do you see? 
see how much brush work I'm able to do without dipping back in the paint? And I'm not getting much paint on there. The paint just has great coverage. And one of the things that I find most people, the mistakes they made are painting early on is using too much paint on their brush. So. I'm gonna open this, because so I think I need to paint this lip. That is the first coat. Quick and easy. First coat. You can see how much paint I have left, so I'm going to have enough for my second coat. So I'll be back in a little bit and we'll put the second coat on and then we'll see. Then she's done. So then we can see the finished product. Okay, it's Cindy and I'm back. Um, it's been an hour or two since I painted the first coat on my little refrigerator and I'm back to do the second coat. Um, and I will tell you, I've already done the second coat on part of it and I ran out of paint. So one tester was not quite enough to cover the whole thing. Um, it did the first coat on the whole refrigerator and the second coat on about one and a half sides. So, um, so I, I got a little bit more paint. I for sure feel like you could do this with two testers. So, but I'm gonna whip out this second coat real quick and let you see. Well, first of all, I wanna show you something. So, this, is the first coat so can you tell how streaky that is and that's not brush strokes that is just what first coats look like um, so that's the first coat but come around over here this if you can tell is two coats so all the streakiness is gone it is looking fabulous so we're gonna whip out Two more coats on this baby. And then we're we'll talk about where we go from here, so. And this has been a good little brush for this basic project. So if you've never painted before, this is not a bad first project to try the paint on. Um, You may have a refrigerator in your office or um, in your dorm room or something, and you can give it a fresh coat of paint too. So that's the side. This is the last thing is the top. across the top here and give it a second coat. Ooh, that's too much paint.
Okay, so here's a tip. A lot of times when we're doing things at an edge, um, we don't realize that when we grab the edge to start the stroke, we're leaving a deposit of paint on that edge. So I always come back and just really lightly smooth off the edge to catch any drips. Okay, so that's it. That's two coats of paint. And I decided to tape off so I could get a cleaner edge on the inside. And I, so here you go. This is the fun part about tape, right? Is taping it off and taking it off and see how pretty your lines are. And I will tell you that I always use frog tape. Um, this happens to be the yellow, which is what I had, but the green is good too. Um, and the secret to taping off with painter's tape is that the seal to keep the tape paint from seeping under is activated by moisture. And so that is why sometimes you can have painter's tape and it's still, you still had paint seeping under. So after I get my tape in place, then I go back, I dip my finger in water and I run it along the edge and let the water activate the seal before I paint. And so you can see I've, I've got really pretty lines. So I'm pumped about that. Okay, so here she is. Isn't that much better? So much better and so pretty compared to uh, the yucky old white. So I'm gonna let this actually, I'm, I'm gonna come back. We're gonna do a step four because I just decided to do step four for you. So I'll come back in a little bit, let this dry well, and then um, we'll do the fourth step. And I'm gonna open the door. I want this paint to dry well on the seal before I close it. So um, it doesn't have to dry 24 hours, but it just needs to dry well, and it's only been about an hour or two. So we're gonna let it dry a little longer before I keep that door closed. And then I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm back for the final step in painting our little refrigerator. Um, and this step is optional. Don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can truly paint and be done. So, didn't this turn out pretty? Cute little lavender refrigerator. Um, and it's two, two coats of lavender. And, and it's done, it's ready. So you could be done too. I just felt like um, because Fusion has a fairly um, kind of a matte finish, um, I want it to, to feel a little, a little softer because I think people will be touching it. And um, I wanted a little bit of a sheen. So I'm going to give it um, what I call a polish with hemp oil. So I'm going to use Fusion Hemp Oil. And this is a sheet of 600 grit paper, and I just wrap it over an old worn sanding sponge. It's easier to use. And I'm going to just pour a little bit of hemp oil on the top. And I may even take a paper towel and kind of rub it around a little bit. Kind of distribute that evenly a little bit. And then I'm going to take my sanding block. And this is no pressure. I'm just wiping, but I'm not sanding hard. I'm just gonna rub it over the surface. very lightly and then I'm going to take a towel, paper towel, shop towel, something like that and wipe off the excess. Fusion is not porous so it's not going to soak in. So you have to wipe it off the excess. And 
and I can already feel a difference and it's still kind of sticky so I'm gonna it looks like I've got it all but when I touch it I don't Yes, that feels better. So I'm gonna do that on all of my surfaces. Kind of wipe it down with some hemp oil. Let's see, I may need to get some more on here. Oh, there we go. You can also polish with water if you don't have any hemp oil. I just like the, the way the hemp oil finishes. know that if you can tell it's just slightly um, darker in color and definitely feels softer to the touch um, but it's not a big noticeable difference so it just, but it gives it a little bit of a sheen. Now I can tell, I don't know if you can tell when I open the door, but um, I can tell from the light. It's just got a little bit of a sheen to it and it's certainly softer to the feel. So that's it. So step one, clean well. Step two, apply a coat of Ultra Grip. Step three is paint and you can be done or optional step four, um, I just polished with hemp oil. Um, I guess you could use another optional step four would be to put an IOD transfer on it. That could be super cute. Um, I would do that before you put any type of, I don't recommend hemp oil for a sealer over a transfer, but if you did a transfer, then you could come back and wax or poly it to seal the transfer. Um, or you could do um, some stamps, or you could paint with stripes, or you could stencil. I mean, the options are endless. But I wanted you to see how easy it is. And I am dying to know if you decide to paint your refrigerator, send me pictures. I want to see what you come up with. Because I uh, love to see what other people have got going on. So thanks for hanging out with me, um, and enjoy your evening. Goodbye.